So this is the template for your financial timeline. Down here we have the prompts for the project, and up here we have the timeline itself with some text boxes to use, arrows, and title headlines. And your goal is to put a picture of yourself on the timeline and then five other significant events that you see happening in your future, five of them. So let's do that. I'll model it with myself. So I'm going to click Insert and get an image of myself from my computer. There it is. And I'm going to put myself on the timeline, shrink the picture down. I'm going to use an arrow. I'm not just going to drag this arrow over. I'm going to copy and paste it. So I have a copy. And I'm about here. All right. Oops. And <laughs> I want to shrink this down. And I'm laughing because when I put myself on this timeline, which I designed for you in my high school class, I'm, I see myself up here, and I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm, it's over for me, midlife crisis, ah, so <laughs> this is not looking so good right now, I don't have any room to, to have plans anymore, what do I do? And you, you will feel that in your life at certain points, we all do, um, but all joking aside, you can fix that by just changing the intervals here, and for yourself, you can change them to whatever numbers you want. You don't have to use the numbers that I gave you. And in my case, I've got to change them for myself. Okay, so um, I'm going to do that right now. Just keep your interval constant. So I'm going up by twos here, 22, 24, 26. Go up by the same amount. And here's a dot, dot, dot. In other words, this interval between these two numbers can be something else. I did 40 to 50 plus, but you can make it whatever you want. So I'll do that right now so I don't look and feel so old. Okay, so I fixed the intervals. Now I'm going to drag this arrow over here. I'll actually shrink it down. And I'm going to shrink this picture down a little bit too. I feel like it's too large. There I am. And then I'm going to drag, oops, not that. I'm going to copy. This is a heading right here. You can change the color of the heading if you want. And I'm going to drag it over. So it says, this is where I am right now. Now to place the five other other moments here on the timeline, uh, just copy and paste this text box and drag, drag some of them around to get five of them in total. So you want to copy and paste it four times. Right? And here are the five events. Now I can move them around. right? And you can start here later in life and then work your way backwards if that works. I'm going to start here sooner and then just see where the path takes me. That feels less overwhelming, but maybe it's a better idea for you to start here. So if you look at the, the guidelines down here, this says that your goal is to make a prediction for your life and imagine how it may go. And then you, these are things to consider. What you will do and achieve, where you will go, what your family and friends will be like, what you will own, and how much money you will have. You don't have to mention all of those things. I'm just asking you to think about them and then fill in some events accordingly, right? So I'll do a couple with you. I'll just... I'll make a prediction and then imagine where it will go. So I'm going to start sooner in my life and then follow it along until later parts of my life. So I'm going to copy and paste this arrow. And I'm going to say, nice landmark, it's pretty close here. And at this point, I'm going to say at 40, begin my work to get an administration certificate. So I'm a teacher right now. Let's pretend I want to be an admin. So here, I'm going to copy and paste this title. And I'm going to title what I'm doing, what this event is all about. And I want to call it career change. It begins, right? So if I start that at 40, let's play this game and see where it goes. Let's see what happens. That's my career change. I'm going to copy this arrow now. Come on top here. Now I'm going to say by 42 then. Let's drag this over. At 42, begin my first administration job managing a, um, a math and science department 
managing math and science departments in a district. So that just means to me, uh, I want to help out math and science teachers work together to expand their curriculum and just make it fantastic. So I'm going to copy that, put it over here, and then I'm going to title this um, Begin New Career. And the language you use here is important. So my, my focus is on my work right now. That's what I'm sharing on my timeline. And I'm going to say, not career change here, I'm going to say career shift. I like that word better. I'm shifting over to a different career. And then here's where I begin the new career. So I'm putting myself on a different path than I'm on right now. And I'm going to add a money amount on here. And earn... I'll say more than one hundred thousand dollars. So when you're doing this, you can do research. If you have a career you're looking at, pick a salary for yourself, or uh, just make the number up. I think it's better to look it up so you can see about what you would make, so you have a sense of it, and but put something in there that represents what might actually happen. Make it somewhat realistic. Okay, so. Looking good, 42. Now, if I'm, you know, if I'm doing this, I'm thinking, okay, well, I've got that work. It's going well for me. That probably means by 50, I can do a couple other things. So by 50, pay off mortgage on my home and rent it out buy a second smaller home. So here, this is another major event where I'm finishing mortgage. All right, I'm paying something off, big in my life. Now for you, it could be something else. It doesn't have to be a home, but this is what I'm looking at. I'm gonna drag this down, All right? Drag this arrow down, make it look good, best I can here. Boom. That's a little bit cleaner. Okay, so I'm going to say it's just finish mortgage. There we go. So I have a second smaller home. Okay, so now it's 50. All right. So then by 60, okay, this is getting interesting now. And I'm just choosing a timeline based on my career, right? And you can do that too. It can be completely about your career. It could be about big things you see yourself buying in your life. And I'm just looking at my career. So by 60, um, what happens there to me, right? Okay, I've shifted my career. I got here. I started to study for my admin certification. Within two years, I've got a job. So I'm using that salary here. So by 50, I want to pay off my mortgage. And then by 60, and then after 65, what's going to happen? Well, I'm imagining that by 60 years old, okay, what I can do is um, retire. So here, this is my retirement. Yay, retire. And um, from admin. So, so I've had that career. I've done it. Yay. So I'm going to say retire with $2 million dollars on top of my pension and leave it there. That's my goal, right? Let's say that's my goal. And let's shrink this down a little bit here. Drag this down. Now, when I'm retiring, what am I doing with my life? I don't know, but I do know that I would like to um, spend some more time traveling so maybe I have a specific place I want to travel to. And um, maybe I can list that out right here. All right. So there are lots of places I would love to go. Right. But here I'm going to say that I, I have a goal, let's say, of spending a year backpacking across Europe. And boom with 
my wife, kids, and grandkids. I love that picture, right? Picture my mind just walking, hiking, living, relaxing, and boom. Okay, now I'm going to delete this extra arrow. I'm going to zoom out. And I don't need these guidelines anymore, but I'm just going to say that before you delete them, look through it. Make sure you've considered everything here. And I'm going to delete it. Now this is my timeline. Now this timeline right here, I'm going to zoom in. I'm just going to look at it. Am I going to make edits? I might. Let's see what I, I think now. Career shift at 40. By 42, begin my first admin job. Okay, finish the mortgage by 50 and rent on, on my first home, rent it out, Oop, fix that spacing, and then buy a second smaller home. Maybe I want to tra change this to rent a small apartment. I don't know. And maybe I want to say where I want to buy that home in Ithaca or something, right? Pick a location or maybe somewhere outside Ithaca, right? Maybe I have a vision that I want to move somewhere with has, that has cheaper housing prices and lower taxes. And maybe I'm thinking, you know what, that's not really fair to yourself, Sean. 42 to 50, to 50, that's not a time to pay off your mortgage. I can just move this, right? Nice thing about this timeline, I can shift things around. So maybe that's more realistic, right? And maybe buying a second home is not a bad, it's not a good idea. Maybe I just want to pay off my the mortgage on my home and leave it at that. Maybe this extra part is too complicated. And then over here, right? Maybe I think that retiring with two million is not a good idea. Maybe I only need one million, or maybe I need three million, right? I can change these numbers. But the point is, and the reason you would do this in your life, not just for class, let's actually zoom in a different amount like this. Um, let's do fit. So this looks better. The reason you want to have this plan is so that if, oh boy, if you um, have a goal, maybe my goal is to hike, I can then work backwards and see what it would take to get there and see what it would take to hit these landmarks, right? If, I if I'm saying, okay, by 40, I want to do this thing. Well, that makes me sit down now and think what I have to do to get there. This is a starting place. And as you start to really make plans, you'll see if these landmarks in your timeline are realistic. It's a start to the process. When you have this finished, basically go to File, download it as a PNG, and then put that into your Drive account.